Hey everybody, Dave Lauer here at Lauer Studios. Uh, today in this video I'm going to show you how to change a tube out in a Persona Studio channel. Let's check it out. Okay, let's pull it out of the rack. Uh, the only tool that we're going to need is a Phillips head screwdriver. Make sure when you pull these units out of the rack that you realize that there's a power supply that's hooked to them. So just be very careful when you pull it out. And just unhook the power supply. And the mic lines. And there you go. Okay, the first thing we need to do is take this top plate off. Here's where the tube is. There's four screws in this top plate and there's five around the side, so we're going to go ahead and take those off right quick. Okay, we're going to pull this top plate off, but what we have to do is we've got to raise it slightly and then drag it under this top lip and it'll come out. Voila! Here's the tube. Okay, it's a good idea to go ahead and put your hands on the outside of the chassis here on the metal and try to discharge any static electricity so that we don't uh, short uh, the chips out inside. The tube is right here. It's not screwed in. It's pressed in, but it's a very delicate uh, socket right here, so you really got to hold pressure on it when you're trying to wiggle the thing out. So we're going to give it a go. Let's see if we can get this tube out. And all I'm doing is just trying to wiggle it out, and there's pins in here, and they'll just come loose. Okay, here's the tube. Uh, the pins are exactly the same all the way around except there's a little gap right here. And make sure when you line up that other tube that that gap is in the right place or you're going to bend the pins. I have my replacement tube here. It's a basic 12AX7 preamp tube. It's a common tube. It's in a lot of different uh, guitar amplifiers. You can get them at your local music store. Just make sure your gap is lined up. I'm going to lift this unit and see where the gap is. It happens to be to the bottom. So I want to spin the tube around until I get the gap at the bottom. And don't press it in. Just try to slightly fit it. Hold pressure on the back of this unit and just kind of wiggle it in. And there it is. Okay, next step, all we have to do is put the top back on. So we're going to do everything in reverse. We'll take the top plate and we'll keep it on an angle and we'll slide it under this top lip takes a little pressure to try to get it up under there. Make sure you get the four holes right here on the, the top plate lined up. Once everything's lined up, we just screw the five screws in and the four here and we're ready to go. Okay, I'm putting the last screw in. Okay, we've got all the screws in place, so now we're ready to put it back in the rack, but I just want to mention one thing. Uh, when you plug in the power supply right here, there's actually a retainer. Make sure you loop the wire around that so that the, uh, you don't put any pressure on the, uh, on the jack here, or you don't pull it out. Okay, we're going to put this back in the rack. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up the power supply to it. I'll go ahead and clip in the power supply and then put the loop in the retainer and that just keeps the pressure off of this uh, input jack right here. Okay, now I'm just going to plug in the mic lines and just very carefully slide it back into the rack and we'll go ahead and put the uh, rack screws on right quick. Okay, we've got it in the rack. 
Well, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, you can also reach me at info at LowryStudios.com if you have any questions or comments. Take care. Yeah.